All right, quick update on Axie Infinity. So uh, yesterday we did slightly break below this red trend line. Do bear in mind, this was a very quick wick that we did get, you know, bought up on very fast. So you can see that we've got pretty nice dragon, uh, dragonfly doji here, which is, you know, more, more bullish than a regular doji. So, I mean, at least this was green. We did get back above the red trend line. I have said, you know, it personally, uh, if I was going to be getting out of bed uh, for this coin, then I would at least need to see a daily close below or above these converging red trend lines. So you can see right now we are in this big old triangle pattern. Um, we, you know, we, we're going to wait to see whether this breaks to the upside or the downside. I imagine that will solely depend on the you know, geopolitical news that's going on around in the world right now. Obviously, these are unprecedented times. You can see, you know, that when the news struck yesterday, Bitcoin had a huge, huge drop that was bought up very quickly. Uh, a lot of the markets did a similar move. So, I mean, Axie Infinity did the exact same. Uh, so, all in all, you know, looking at this in the short term, we do have this triangle pattern that we've been forming for the past two, three weeks. The apex of this triangle is the 2nd of March. So, that is literally, you know, like five days away from now. So in my opinion, we will make a decision before that five days is up. Uh, whether we have some, you know, really good news that, you know, what's going on in the world is getting de-escalated. Yeah, I think that would be very good for the crypto markets. I think we could do something like this. But if the news just keep does getting worse, uh, you know, if World War Three or something messed up like that is announced, then... Um, you know, I do see all of these coins breaking very much below uh, these trend lines that they've been holding for the past uh, couple of months. So uh, I am keeping an eye on what's going to be going on in the next week. I do believe that we will have a decision, you know, much before this apex. Uh, normally with these triangle patterns, we do break out normally at least a couple of days before. So, you know, if I was to make like a guess on when we should have a decision on this, if my life depended on it, I feel like somewhere between Monday and Tuesday, when the stock market reopens, we should have a update. So our stock market has had a decent pump today, but do bear in mind, we are still in this huge, huge uh, downtrending resistance. And we do have this kind of more macro resistance. So uh, I do always like to look at Bitcoin, the total crypto market cap when I do altcoin videos, because, you know, these altcoins, uh, AXS in particular, which is, you know, the video that you're watching now, th these coins will follow the total crypto market cap. So, you know, you can see that th this is pretty much the same pattern that we've been in for AXS. I mean, we've got this uh, flat line here of the triangle and we've got this descending resistance. And, you know, we, we're basically doing the exact same for all of these charts. I mean, Bitcoin is the same. You could see uh, specifically with the total crypto market cap, we got huge buying volume coming in. Uh, Bitcoin had huge buying volume coming in. So in my opinion, if Bitcoin is able to have a huge breakout and, you know, some good geopolitical news does come out, you know, I believe a lot of these altcoins that have been held down since the 6th of November, November-ish time, you know what I mean, uh, specifically like Axie Infinity and SLP, which are obviously two coins that are linked. I do believe that they will have a very strong rally, but I'm not saying that that is what we're going to do. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been saying I am sticking on the sidelines right now. I'm not entering any altcoins. And that is because, you know, if we come over to the Bitcoin dominance, this, this is what I've been predicting for, you know, since we got above here on the 11th of February. So I literally made a update video for you on this two weeks ago. And I said, you know, while we are above this 200 day moving average, then personally, I cannot be getting out of bed for altcoins because I do believe that we're going to rise and altcoins are going to lose their value against the Bitcoin dominance. So uh, quickly, if you don't know what the Bitcoin dominance is, it is it basically says it here. It is the percent of the total crypto market cap that is calculated by just Bitcoin. So right now we're at 43.29. Uh, when this does increase, it means that you know, it doesn't matter if money's flowing in or out of Bitcoin. It simply means that if you are holding Bitcoin while this goes up, your altcoins become cheaper priced against Bitcoin. So uh, in my opinion, you know, we are exploding right now out of this. We had a very, very big buy, uh, buy candle yesterday. Um, we are now at, you know, new all time highs in the micro perspective. Obviously, if we do zoom out, it doesn't necessarily help to look at this as a macro trend because as you can imagine, the reason why this drops over time goes up, drops over time. And, you know, if I had to place a bet on it, I imagine it would probably 
go up now and then come down over time in the next bull market. So, you know, the more altcoins that are made, the more diluted the market cap gets. You can see when Bitcoin was really the only thing, it was like 99% of the total crypto market cap. Obviously, like ETH and uh, XRP took up like a very minute amount of that. So, yeah, while the Bitcoin dominance is above the 200 day, I'm personally staying a million and one miles away from altcoins. As you know, I'm kind of sticking to what I said. I do believe that these probably it's I believe it's more likely that this will break down. But like I said, I'm not getting out of bed for this coin until we make a decision. Um, I, I do just think, you know, you should you should probably wait as we are in a massive pattern. Obviously, none of this is financial advice. This is just personally what I'm doing in the markets. And yeah, I am sitting on the sidelines until we do make a decision for Axie. So uh, I would like to see a daily close below this trend line and a retest before I do flip bearish, at which point I do believe that we would be coming down to uh, $30, which is, you know, something like a 32% drop. We do have a more conservative price target here at 12%. If we did bounce on that and start, you know, shooting up uh, with good market news, then so be it. Uh, but personally, I'm I'm leaning more bearish on this coin. But, you know, like I said, I'm a conservative trader. I don't trade based on how I feel, you know, if it's going to go up or down. I trade based on what the market tells me when we break out or break down. So that's all I see for Axie Infinity. Best of luck. Once again, none of this is financial advice. This is just my opinion on the market. And you've always got to do what's best for you. Peace.